Okay, next day, I drove it for a normal commute. Temperature is where it expected to be, a little better. And I'll go check the hood. Let's see what it looks like after the end of a drive. Like I said, I expect it to be at most at max level. So let's check it out. Yep, hasn't climbed above max, so there's that. I'm trying to figure out what ex exactly where it is, though. Okay. Being that it's at low while hot, it's gonna need a little more coolant. So it's the end of the day. Car's been sitting cooling down for eight or so hours. I'm looking inside to see where the coolant level is. Yeah, it's not too crazy. There it is. It's right around there. So not too bad. Uh, closer to minimum than than I'd want, but at least that lets me know. As I was saying, it is pretty close to minimum but at least I know for sure that it's not filling up randomly so what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead drive home once I get home I believe that the coolant level is gonna be a little higher than what you guys have been able to see right now and as I said I might add a little bit of coolant might i just might i'm not sure maybe we'll do this as yet another test whereby we'll let it sit for you know sit overnight and then tomorrow morning i'll look at it again and see where it's at this time i will do something i st stupidly forgot to do which is carry coolant always carry coolant in a jug you know spare in your trunk whenever you do these coolant system jobs because you never know when you'll need to make up for some losses so that's it for now guys probably need a flashlight yes okay so yesterday what had happened is that this is your max line over here this is your min line and then right now you can see it is somewhere halfway between right i'd say it's halfway between Yesterday I had added coolant and the coolant had gone to like third of the way between them and My anticipation was was that as the system cooled down and basically pulled a vacuum It was gonna draw a little bit of coolant in into the system and it did today it drew it so low It was close to minimum just before starting it and then I drove the car for a while and then looked at it and it rose up just a little bit just above min so i have enough coolant it's sufficient to keep going but i wanted to have a little more coolant right now it's still too hot i'm not going to bother with trying to add coolant right now at least not there and uh, i suppose i need to get a funnel if i want to feed coolant over here <sighs> or I guess so. Or I could just remove this one here. But that's the whole point. I need to add coolant that when it's hot, coolant needs to come up to max, ideally. Because right now it's um, it's hanging a little lower than I'd like it to be. Because with the natural forces, you know, evaporation and all that, I'm going to end up losing a little bit of water. And then that level is going to keep going low, low, low. I wanted it a little higher, that's all. Otherwise, the system is working well. After one day of testing, the coolant level has not risen any higher than it was yesterday. Despite me adding coolant, you saw me adding coolant to that jug, right? I added coolant to the system. Still, it hasn't risen any higher than it needs to be. So I know that for sure my problem was my radiator cap. And I replaced that. So everything is working like it should. This is day two after doing the service. And I told you guys, this is a multi-day effort. It's not gonna take just one day. Looking here, you can see the coolant is below minimum. The car is cold. It's been sitting all day. So I'm gonna add some coolant over there. Well, because of my lack of preparation, I'm having to use my key as my flat blade sc uh, screwdriver to remove things. But thankfully, I do have the coolant to put it in. 
And then we could look inside here, I guess, if we wanted to, but coolant levels should be pretty good. Yeah, see, it's not too bad. It's right there. Um, yeah, I'll keep working with this, add some coolant, and maybe record it again. All right, so we are home. This is day three. I said I'd record another video after getting home. Temperature looks good. What we're gonna do is turn all these other things off. Accessories off. Let's go check the engine bay. My hopes are that the coolant level is gonna be right at max. Okay, there you go. That's more like it, boys and girls. Look at it. Yeah, so I added some coolant and I added it to... I'm doing my best to show this. So, okay, so it's just below max. It's not exactly a max. But I added it to about this point, this corner down here just about there's a little bit of distance and i'm just having a little bit of trouble to sh trying to show that there you go that's better Let's hold it a little better so there you go this is the hotline this is the minimum so max min and then i added coolant to about this corner here that's what i used to gauge uh, my height it was just a little lower than that so i know it's right around the halfway point a little less and right now it's risen to close to max and that's what I was trying to explain earlier that when hot you expect coolant to rise no more than the max level and when cold you know you want it to go no lower than the minimum with that I think we are finally done everything with this vehicle is good I'm keeping an eye on this as I said this thing you know that's a, the the thing about doing coolant services is that and this is why I like doing some stuff at home because you take it to a shop they do it in one day send you on your way and then are you are you fully done are you really really done or do you have to go back to the shop sometimes there's an advantage in doing things by myself and this is why I do it the other thing I'm doing while at it is checking this uh, keeping an eye on the uh, on the radiator cap because this one is a used cap, right? So anytime I see any whitish stuff on top of it, I'm freaking out. I actually turned it around because I had seen this stain over here. So I turned it around just to make sure that there was no leak coming out this way. Uh, I need to do a better job wiping it so that it's all clear. And then I've seen what looks like a teardrop in the back. So that teardrop over there, um, wipe the cap, make sure it's good. And then every once in a while, I'm just looking at it, just checking. This is day three or four. I'm, I'm losing count. This is where the coolant is before my trip. This is the end of the day. I'm just leaving work. I think we have succeeded. Everything should be good now. I think this is really, really the last update. So, But maybe I'll record it when I get home. All right, here is what I hope will be the last installation or last addition to this video series. The temperature gauge looking great over there. So let's pop the hood. Let's go look at the coolant reservoir. It's been pretty good, but this is like a double, triple checking. Uh, my guess, the coolant level is gonna be just a little lower than maximum went hot and sure enough there it is this is the maximum line it is just slightly below hope you can see it shaking over there yep and then I've already uh, recorded lots of videos showing that when it's cold or rather when it's cool uh, before running the engine on a cold engine so to say it is somewhere around the middle point so 
my initial guess, you know, I said that whenever you have it perfectly at halfway point, it is going to be it is going to be there at cold, but then at max when hot. That assumption is based on my experience with the M45 coolant reservoir because those coolant reservoirs are more uniform, so to say. So with this one, my experience is showing that it's a little different, but still, as long as you have the right quantity of coolant when cold and everything else is working the way it should, it is never going to rise above maximum. And I think that's, that's the key takeaway I was hoping from the main video and from the follow-up video. So I think with that, I'm confident to say that my coolant service adventure is successful and it's finally over. That does not mean that I will not be checking my coolant system anymore. It just means that I will stop worrying about it every day. I will do courtesy checks every week like I usually do for the oil and everything else in the system. I still keep an eye on my radiator cap, make sure nothing else is leaking out and it seems that everything is going like it should. So with that being said, I'm gonna close shop and you guys stay safe and be vigilant about your vehicles, all right?